Hello, it's me again. I'm John. I have uh, primary progressive multiple sclerosis. This is my story, part two. Um, why am I making another video? Well, for a couple different reasons. One is to answer the question that I get asked all the time. How are you doing? And, um, you know, th that's, that's a question that I don't always have time to go into. Um, but people care enough about me to ask that question, so I'm making this video so that uh, you know I could answer that question without having that same conversation all the time. Because it's not really something you want to talk about all the time. You know, you don't want to talk about your disease and what you're going through all the time. But people, you know, want to know, and I'm I'm very thankful for that that they they care enough about me to ask. Um, another thing is to educate people on primary progressive multiple sclerosis and what uh, people that uh, are diagnosed with this have to go through. Um, and third, it's therapeutic for me. You know, I probably watched my own video, I probably watched it 20 to 25 times. And uh, it helped remind me to take one day at a time to not get so caught up in it. Um, so to answer the question that I get asked all the time, how are you doing? Um, it's a very hard question to answer. I don't really know how to answer it. Uh, you know, if I'm if I'm just wanting to, to fly by you, um, I'll just say a hey, okay. You know, but th that's not true. I'm not doing okay. I'm not doing good. Um, you know, if I'm in a really bad mood, I'll answer it um, terrible, but not as bad as I will be tomorrow. <laughs> I, that's a terrible response. I, I shouldn't answer it like that. I gotta quit answering it like that. Um, but most of the time I, I say something like, I'm struggling, I'm, I'm getting through, you know, um, I'm fighting. Um, so d really though, how am I doing? Emotionally, I'm, I'm hanging in there. You know, I, I have uh, my time periods where I get depressed or really frustrated. That That's a better word to describe it. Um, but I, I think that's normal. I don't think I would, I'm going through those things any more than anybody else would be if they were going through what I'm what I'm going through. So I think that's I'm pretty normal as far as that range. Um, now physically, I have declined more in the last two months since my last video. So where am I at physically? Um, well, first let me explain that there are. With MS, you have two very different types of fatigue. You have the normal type of fatigue, what I call normal, because when I didn't have the, the symptoms of MS, it was uh, how I felt when I was sick or had a cold or something. It's that, oh, man, I don't want to do anything. I don't want to get out of bed. Do I have to do that, man? I don't want to. You know, it's that type of fatigue. The other fatigue is the leg fatigue um, which is more serious that one is is more enveloping um, that that first type of fatigue the normal tiredness the oh I don't feel like doing anything man that one you can fight um, you can do it by staying busy you know I do it by getting up going to work when I you know I, you got to um, I've only called off once um, I've left early a couple times but uh, you can fight that. I go to my congregation meetings, you know, try to keep my meeting attendance up. Um, so that those are things that I do to get out, fight that, you know, don't give into it. Um, now the other type of tiredness, the leg tiredness, you cannot fight. It's not going anywhere. You can't do anything about it. And it'll just get worse as you are being active. It'll just continually get worse. Um, so it, unfortunately, to fight the first type of fatigue, the I don't want to do anything, man, the, the getting up and doing stuff, that leads to more leg fatigue, which really stinks. Um, another thing that stinks is constipation. That is a daily struggle with me, man, and I hate that. I hate constipation. I take something every day to help get myself to go. And it is annoying 
and frustrating, and that's all I'm going to talk about that. I hate it. Um, so physically, what am I able to do right now? You know, that's a question I get asked a lot. You know, where are you at? Well, I, I wouldn't be able to go somewhere like the zoo or to an amusement park. I, I wouldn't be able to do that. Um, I would need a, a wheelchair or one of those little scooters, you know, to get through that day. And even then, it'll be a long day. Um, but I, if I had a wheelchair or scooter, I could, I could do that. I could get around. Um, so that's, that gives you a, a, an idea of what I positively could not do. Um, could I walk a mile without resting? And I, I think I could. I think I could get through a mile. It uh, would look ugly. You know, I'd be limping a lot towards the end, and it would feel like I, I'm sure it would feel like I just ran the Boston Marathon. And uh, what's weird about that is just three months ago, I was somewhere, and I had to walk two miles. And um, I was tired afterwards. That was before my diagnosis and everything, but I, I was tired afterwards, and my legs were, were achy, but it, I got through it, you know? Um, I could not make that walk right now, today. I couldn't do it. Not without taking several rest periods. Uh, I, that would be too long. Um, standing in line is something I have to deal with. And um, could I stand in line for an hour? No, I don't think I could. I don't think I could stand for an hour without resting. And that, that stinks. That really does stink. Because um, you have to, I mean, you're waiting in line at the pharmacy or something like that. So generally, that's not an hour. But uh, even if you're waiting in line for a food buffet or something like that, you it, it does stink, man. You, you don't think about these things until you're actually having to deal with them. Um, now, how am I doing at work? I get really tired at work, of course. Um, you have the both kinds of tiredness there. Uh, you have the, the normal tiredness, which you fight, which I fight constantly at work. I fight it by keeping busy. But keeping busy often leads to the leg fatigue. Now, again, I work at Home Depot in, in tool rental, and uh, they have provided me with a stool, which helps. I, I wouldn't be able to do it without the stool. You know, I'm behind that counter. So they give me a stool to sit in um, to, to handle, you know, when, when I'm not showing people how to operate tools and stuff, I, I sit in that. And um, they also have shortened my shifts to five hours or less, which definitely helps also. Um, but again, to fight that normal fatigue, I try to keep busy. But by keeping busy, that leads to the worse fatigue, the leg fatigue. And... Um, I'm going to try to explain the leg fatigue to you. Um, a lot of people think that there is not pain with multiple sclerosis, that you don't go through pain. But that is not true. It's, it's not really a pain you can rate on a scale of 1 to 10. Because it's not excruciating pain. But it's a deep, deep ache. And it gets worse and worse as you keep going. And, and it is so, I mean, it's so all-consuming. That's all you can think about is that egg and your desire to rest your legs. That is all you can focus on. So that's, that's very challenging at work when that's the only thing I can think about is, man, I just want to rest my legs. Um, you know, so that's, that's something I have to deal with and I got to learn how to, how to operate. Um, you also have to learn how to, you know, Gay, um, make your energy last throughout your whole shift. But uh, so that that's where I am physically. Um, I'm still learning, still learning how to deal with things. Um, it's it's you know it's a learning experience every day. Um, but I'm getting through. You know I'm I'm trying to stay positive. Um, again, my hope for the future helps. JW.org, go there, read some stuff, man. You'll you'll thank me. Because in this world, you need all the hope you can get. Um, but again, trying to stay positive. Trying to keep the smile on my face. That's all I can do. And uh, all your uh, thoughts and, and prayers and everything that you guys have said to me. It really has helped. Uh, thanks.